Getting started with Google Sheets is just as easy as Google Docs. These cells make it so much more functional to get things done. So column one, Sheets is smart enough to know that that one can become a two, three, four, five, six. Similarly, days of the week autofill. What I'm doing is I'm taking this little black box down in the corner here, clicking and dragging down, and there's enough logic inside of there that it will attempt to figure out what you're doing. Want the days of the month. There's all sorts of functionality built into these cells. There are also plenty of ways to make this look halfway decent. For example, if you go to fill color, Obviously, you can just make it a certain color, but alternating colors is a nice way to make your charts a little bit easier to read. As you learn the tools that I'm using, they become second nature to, to, to make things that look okay and serve a really good purpose. Each spreadsheet can have multiple sheets within it. If you click add a sheet, you'll, you'll, you'll add a blank sheet. If you click here, you can duplicate what you have. So if you're making multiple of the same thing, you can duplicate it however you like. Double clicking on this is to rename. Real power comes when you start making formulas. So if you have some numbers, I can use this cell to calculate different things about all of this. So if I go down to this cell and I hit the equal sign, it's already guessing, do you want to add those numbers up? Do you want to average those numbers? So if I click equals and start typing sum, you can click and drag whatever it is you want to add up and it'll tell you the total for that. If I want to get the average, you saw how easy that was. But there's so much more you can do with this. Let me start a new sheet and tell you what I mean. Here are the columns I need. I've got name, email, student code, and comment here. And what I want to do is email each student their code and these words, and I don't want to do it one at a time. There are multiple ways you can get this done. Now, if you're just interested in each, sending an email to each student, an add-on like yet another mail merge is a good one. This will limit you at 50 per day unless you subscribe. but I'm going to use a, a different add-on called Autocrat. Autocrat will take all your data. It'll turn into an email, but it'll also turn into a document. So I've clicked install. I had to uh, sign into my Google account and, and give it permissions. But Autocrat is up here in the add-ons now. And let me show you how powerful this thing is. If I go up to add-ons and go into Autocrat and open it, it's going to start loading and asking you what it wants to do. So here we are with a blank autocrat. No merge job set up yet. So starting a new job, it's going to look like, well, uh, the job name doesn't really matter. It It's what shows up here in the autocrat setting. But you need to choose a template. So you can now choose Google Slides, but most of the time you're going to use uh, a Google Doc. So <clears throat> what a template is, is a Google Doc that has tags that are linked to your spreadsheet. So let me explain. So I'm in a brand new Google Doc right here. And what I want to do is write out what I want to say to each student. Or I use this to make invoices for my other business. But this is what a tag looks like name here i've got student code and here is comment these brackets are found by the comma and the period key on your keyboard and now that these are in here i can go back to my template i need to select a template from my drive and because i was just working on my autocrat template here it'll be the most recent file now it's going to look for those tags to connect to the web 
to, to connect to the spreadsheet. And here's what that means. I've got name right here. I'm going to map that to this right here. So wherever it says name, I want that to go to the column that says name on it. I had to select sheet one. Student code, I want that to map to the student code column and the comment column maps to the comment column. So now wherever there's a name, instead of showing this in the final document, it is going to select this and then this and then this individually as it's spitting out different documents. Hit next, file name. Now, when you're making the file name, there's some tricks that you can make. By clicking on this, you can see here are your options. Well, I can put the student name in there. And I could put their class code in there if I want to. So each document will have their name and code right in the name of the document. Do I want this to send as a Google Doc that they can edit or as a PDF? So if this is something that you want the kids to edit and work on, if it's, if you're giving a kid a personalized assignment or a, a, a journal, it would be great to give them a Google Doc because then they could edit it. If you're giving something that you don't want them to change ever, you can send it to them as a PDF. Let's, let's select PDF today. You can also make it so that this will output in one big long file. So if you were going to print this out, for example, and then hand them out to your students, you could add a page break between each one and put it in one file. So you just hit print once and it'll print all of them out on separate pages. But today we are just going to make one document per student. I'll just have it go to my drive. You can have it go anywhere you want. Dynamic folder reference. You can ignore this. I've spent time trying to get this to work. It, I haven't gotten it to work. Set merge condition. What this is, is if you want to only send files to certain kids, let's say kids that have a code, you would set this condition, you know, if student code is not blank, then send it. But if student code is blank, it's, it's, it should not be sent. But we are, we don't need that today. Here's the powerful thing. Do you want to email this document? So we are going to email it as a PDF. Allow contributors to reshare. Yes. Send from a generic no reply. No. So now what you need to do is write your email. What I could do is take the email paste that in here. You can carbon copy yourself. You can carbon copy or blind carbon copy anything you want so that this email could be going to people, multiple people at the same time. Here's your student code. And then down in here, you can just put whatever information you want to, to put. You can connect this to a Google form. So what, whenever a student or someone fills out a Google form, this runs or have it run every so often, but we're going to click save. Now I've got this going to a not real email address, but when I click play, it's going to actually create a document for Brent. It's going to try to email it to this email address. And it's going to have that code. It's going to have that information that I set up in the document here. Obviously, you can do a lot more than just put the, the, the tags in here. You could, hello, Brent. And now I'm editing it as it's running, so it's not a great idea. We'll probably see different outputs now that I've changed it. What's great is Autocrat links to the actual documents over here on the right hand side. And there they are. Here it is in your drive. 
here it is, the document. The first document, before I edit it, output this. Here's the name, here's the code, here's the comment. This is the same for all of them. Now, as it was running, I was editing the, the template, and so it's not a good idea, but this last one has my hello and the exclamation point. Here's what it looked like. Hello, name, tag, exclamation point right next to it. If I had made it bold, larger, that would have all been reflected in this template right here. This is how you can make invoices for free by filling in a Google Sheet with who's the customer, what's their email, what's the price, everything else. You make one invoice template and using Autocrat from the add-ons, you can have it sent directly to their email. Now if we go into my email, you can see that these all bounce back because it wasn't a real email, but here is the email that was sent to the student. I put their code into the email, go to Tinkercad, sign in, and then here is the document attached to that email. It's very powerful. It's a very useful way to use sheets to communicate with a hundred people all at the same time. Autocrat is free and I've been using it for years with no problems at all. I hope you found this useful and good luck.